More candidates than ever are running for political office this year, including a three-way Republican primary for the District 31 House seat. One of those candidates may be new to campaigning, but he's certainly no stranger to the people who live in North Kingstown. Months ago, the word around town was that former school superintendent James Halley was contemplating a run for office. In June, he made it official and now finds himself running in a primary against fellow Republicans Doreen Costa and Anne-Marie Marshall. The winner takes on 18-year incumbent Democrat Ken Carter in November. It is the same Jim Halley who oversaw the school department here for 12 years, leaving in a cloud of controversy in 2007 after the State Department of Education determined he misspent nearly a quarter of a million dollars in federal special education grant money. The expenditures included thousands of dollars for an administrator's retreat at this seaside home in Jamestown. On the menu that weekend, steak and lobster all courtesy of the taxpayers. The school committee suspended Halley and later voted to buy out part of his contract. The total settlement came to $167,000. The district appealed the Department of Education's findings, but even with some adjustments, taxpayers still had to pay back the state $217,000. So we decided to ask Halley about his record as superintendent now that he is asking the people of North Kingstown for their vote. Dr. Halley, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Long time no see. Yep. On his campaign website, Halley lists dozens of accomplishments. His biography, though, makes no mention of the misspending or the buyout. You didn't discuss anything about the, the circumstances leading to your departure as superintendent. Did you leave that out specifically? I... Uh, basic, basically, I spent 12 years as superintendent of schools in North Kingstown, which is about four times the normal amount that people, that superintendents are in office. But you were also and asked I, to and, leave and, by the school committee, were you not? No, I wasn't asked to leave by the school committee. Did you leave voluntarily? Yes, I left voluntarily. Right. And they had to pay you the balance of your salary also, right? That's correct. And so that was in excess of $100,000? They, I get paid for six months salary. Uh, essentially, and then I offered to work. I don't know what the exact amount was. It certainly wasn't $100,000. According to the minutes of a May 2007 closed session, the North Kingstown School Committee voted 4-3 to three to approve a $167,300 buyout agreement for Halley, who had been suspended with pay a month earlier. The settlement included $73,000 for unused sick and vacation time. The committee voted to buy him out in part to avoid protracted litigation with Halley. But there was no pressure for you to leave? Well, there was pressure from some people, and there are some people that are um, sorry that they actually did that. You mean you know, that they, they wish they, that you would stay? Yes, people have said that to me, some people who were on the school committee. What about people in the community? People in the community, a lot of people in the community say that they wish I had stayed because they talk about you know, high test scores at that time. They mm -hmm. talk about uh, how the schools were well run. Uh, they talk about uh, a number of things. You know, I've had, I can't tell you how many times people have said that they wished I was still there. <laughs> what about the $250,000 that the taxpayers had to pay back, that the Department of Education determined that your administration had misspent that money? Uh, the Department of Education was incorrect in their assessment, and the school committee never appealed that. But the fact was they ordered taxpayers to, to shell out $250,000? That was a decision of the school committee at that time. But it was under that. your administration that that money was misspent? No, the money was not misspent. So you still maintain it was in a matter of interpretation? That's correct. In fact, the Department of Education issued a 14-page report detailing not only the cost of the administrator's retreat, but improper school renovations, computer software, consultants, equipment, and travel, all using the tightly restricted federal special education grant money. So you don't feel you owe the taxpayers of North Kingstown an apology for being on the hook for a quarter of a million dollars? I don't, um, I, I think that that was a decision that the school committee made. The 38 other communities, districts, didn't have that same misinterpretation. 
that it was only North Kingstown? Because you know the review that 30, they did. 30, 38 other communities probably did have that same misinterpretation. They weren't subject to you uh, making a issue out of it. Do you think it was not an issue to be made of? Did you think there was nothing there? Uh, there were probably some things that weren't um, that weren't completely proper. And in actuality, according to the current um, requirements uh, or state requirements, uh, what we spent was mostly authorized. Now it will be up to the voters to make the final decision on how much the past plays into the future on Election Day. In North Kingstown, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Report.